Okay, we continue the material menu. Uh, in this lesson, uh, I want to continue to material menu and the UVs that there is here. First, you can manage scene material. When you click that, all of the material seen appear here and you can manage them. Here you can uh, resize the window that you want and you can save all of the material in the library. If you want. Here uh, you can add the new material, you can delete the material or you can select it unused material. As you can see, it clean some material. If you select some object, you can here click uh, first select the material and then you can select the object using that material here. As you can see, this object use this material. Uh, and you can, for example, if you want to use this material to this wall, you can select it. If you select object, its uh, material in a scene manager will be selected. As you can see, it's very interesting. You can select it. And after that, you can click and drag from here to the wall or click and drag, click and drag from here to the wall. And here you can change the uh, scale of the uh, material as I said before but as you can see we have a problem here we have an stretch material here because of the UV I will explain that if you have a lot of material that applied to the one object or uh, identical of material we can merge it please do this before bake a big scene if you want to bake in something first merge a material and then uh, <clears throat> common baking object here you can sort the object icon sort the object with names or anything that you want and here you can uh, just show the selected material object or the all material another interesting thing is you can save the material palette if you want you can save this material and after that you change the, all the material all the things distorting material and then oh i want to back to my scene and after that you can open that uh if you save you can open that uh file that you saved for example this and you can retain the material uh, to the origin as you can see okay okay I select it as you can see if you select if I click and drag this material to this when you change the size of the material as you can see it's this change here also oh, it's not good file enter accidentally turn the the snap back it to one and if I select it no it's a separate that okay and <clears throat> this is all about the return and what is UV uh, I explained the UV as you can see this stretch with this scene you can fix it uh, first explain it as you can see this UV is a plane it's project from one direction to make it you have to turn on the UV and you for this box selection you create a box you can auto run to fix it and as you can see it's fixed and then you can change the scale that you want that's it I want to explain UV with this scene this clean scene go select and UV uh, we have a plain object like this box object spherical object cylindrical object in this plane if you select it going to the plane projection UV it means it's projected UV a projected texture in one direction to the object if you select a run if you select on a run as you can see this plane the distance is not important <coughs> This is an, a projection plane of the UV. It's in one direction. 
okay you can rotate it and of course it's okay here and you can rotate the object with the uv that you want but if you select this object for example give this material to that object as you can see it's automatically uh, projected any <coughs> side of the box but if you uh, select a uv projection to the plane and run it as you can see the uv uh, projection in is this direction you can't rotate it and uh, bring it to the, any direction that you but i selected the distribution it's projected texture in this direction only if you hit ok and as you can see uh, the that problem on the wall will be happen here also because it's projecting in one direction and just this face and this face uh, gives the correct material on it. To fix that issue, you have to go and select a box projection of the object and run and uh, uh, check the caps to correct that those caps. You can click and drag on this icon to make it bigger to see what happened and click OK. And it projects the texture on all directions, a boxicle. For a spherical object, you have to select a spherical UV and uh, assign it. For example, if you click and drag an object, SimLab Composer automatically define that spherical and make it... But if you make your object, if you want to do not click OK, just auto run it. It will be corrected automatically and it uh, change the UV in any direction. I don't want to select. Uh, I have to select an object first. Sorry. Select object first and auto run it. <clears throat> As you can see, it changed to the box. It's projected texture in direction of the boxes. And also, if you have the cylindrical object, you have to use the cylindrical ob object to fix the UVs and the texture projections. Okay. This is you is very easy and straightforward. And this window is for correcting that issues happen in the previous scene that I said before. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.